colossal pyramids in the background are an unmistakable telltale of our first destination. Egypt, a country linking Northeast Africa with the Middle East, sits along the fertile Nile River Valley and dates to the time of the pharaohs, and can now be enjoyed by sims from all over our world thanks to Nando's trip to Egypt mod. This mod transforms the world of Strangerville into a modern-day Egyptian-inspired world called Takarai, a thriving city that recently started out modernizing their town with new skyscrapers. The mod doesn't come with new lots, meaning you'll have to manually replace the lots from Strangerville to get the full experience, and I challenged an amazing team of builders to create unique, thematic lots specifically for the Dakarai Plaza neighborhood. I'm welcome to Dakarai by my guide Abanu. He was kind enough to take me to the Golden Nile Pool after the long, exhausting flight from Del Sol Valley. This unique pool house by Miss Unfortunate is a landmark with its Egyptian features and the striking glass pyramid. While stargazing from one of the many lounge chairs, I'm surrounded by an inescapable feeling of mystery and ancient lore. This was the land of a powerful ancient civilization, builders of the astonishing pyramids, worshippers of their pharaohs, living by the capricious Nile River, embalmers of their dead, in such a way that mummies are now figures of our worst nightmares. After an unsettling night, our day begins at a very colorful place, Sati's Bazaar. A bazaar is a generally enclosed Middle Eastern marketplace or street where you can find a great variety of goods and services. My senses are immediately assaulted by a diversity of smells, sounds and colors. Spices, shishas, carpets, artwork, clothes, lamps, you can find almost anything here. After trying out the bubble blower and buying souvenirs for family and friends, Abanu and I continue our journey by visiting an active excavation site. The study of ancient Egypt gained academic rigor in the late 18th century after the discovery of the Rosetta Stone, the key to deciphering Egyptian hieroglyphs. Unfortunately, the following centuries would witness Egypt's priceless treasures and cultural antiquities being carried off by tomb raiders and archaeologists, and installed in countless eminent collections, including the British Museum, the Louvre, and New York's Metropolitan Museum. On a positive note, these discoveries can now be visited by people all over the world instead of being buried under the desert sands. But luckily, not everything was taken away by foreigners and we can still find priceless artifacts in Dakarai's museum, an imposing former Egyptian temple built by Ardi Putra and decorated by Bulat Sin. Egyptian history and culture are immensely rich. Did you know that the ancient Egyptians invented the 365-day calendar to predict the yearly flooding of the Nile River? And they had so many gods that literally every city had their own favorite deity? Contrary to popular belief, the pyramids were not built by slaves, but by paid laborers, farmers and local villagers who honored their godlike pharaoh, and that Egyptian believed cats were magical creatures capable of bringing good luck to the people who housed them. Wealthy families dressed them in jewels and fed them treats fit for royalty. Way to go, Garfield! I believe a fundamental way of knowing a country's culture is by trying their gastronomy. So Abanoub takes me to a popular local restaurant, a Mirage, Mirage by three Simchilin star chef builder Plum Bob Kingdom. It claims to serve exceptional traditional Egyptian cuisine worth of a special journey. It includes dishes like, and forgive my pronunciation, full medams, mashed lava beans, kushiru, lentils and pasta, and molokia, bush okra stew. I wash it all down with the national drink of Egypt, tea, and while watching a stunning sunset from this amazing terrace. 
After this finger-licking experience, we arrive at my final destination in this wonderful city. This striking mosque was erected by Bulat Sim. Islam is the dominant religion of Egypt with around an estimated 90% of the population. A mosque is a place for prayer, Ramadan visuals, funeral services, marriage and business agreements. Historically, mosques were also important centers of education and religious sciences. These buildings typically contain an ornamental niche set into the wall called Mirab that indicates the direction of Mecca. I hope you have enjoyed this journey with us and that I have made you curious enough to download the Trip to Egypt mod for free from Nando's Patreon page. And please complete the map by downloading these amazing lots by such talented builders as Miss Unfortunate, Sati, Artiputra, Plumbob Kingdom and Bullet Sim from the gallery. What are you waiting for to start your own adventure at Finding Egypt? Thank you for watching, this was Lily Simmer and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more travel guides. See you soon. Maa Salema.